E! I'm so excited. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm really excited today because I'll be reviewing this indie brand called Live Tinted. It was founded by Deepika Mutiala. Hopefully I said her last name correctly. This brand just is so refreshing. It's inclusive. I love their messaging. Everything about it is beautiful. From their concept to their name to the colors, like why they chose copper. It's really interesting. I highly recommend you guys to check it out. Even if you don't buy any of these products, just check out the brand. I really like Divika. I enjoy watching her videos. She does a lot of vlogs, especially around her family. And I like how she focused her brand on the shades in between, you know, between white and black. We tend to be the shades that get left out of most brands. It happens often, especially me with my yellow undertones. I tend to have to go more on the tanner side or I have to go more on the cooler tone side. So it's very refreshing and it's really cool to see this brand come to life. Of course, if you're not in between those shades, you can wear it as well. They have a variety of different colors and they're just doing something different. They started off with color correcting products, like a multi-stick, which is so cool. So this will be my first impression. I'll be going over some of their products. I don't have them all. I'll be trying out their Hue Glow, their Hue Sticks, and their Unity Balm Gloss. I'm wearing it all. This is actually the final look. So if you guys wanna see my review, my impressions, and the wear test, keep watching. Starting off with a bare face, so let's do this. This is the Hue Glow for $34. It is 1.5 fluid ounce. I got the shade Dawn. It comes in two different shades. Dawn is a rose gold and Dusk is a bronze shade. Ooh, it's so pretty. I love this copper color. That's their signature color, which is absolutely beautiful. So different from what I've seen out on the market. A lot of brands either do silver, gold, or rose gold, and the copper just really stands out. On the website, it says, an innovative serum meets moisturizer highlight. Wear under, in, and over your face makeup or slather onto your body. A multitasker with a subtle yet impactful micro shimmer finish. I'm going to wear this under my foundation, but I'm also going to apply it as a highlighter so we can see how it looks a couple different ways. I like the dispenser. So you start off with a little bit. Ooh, this feels so nice. It really feels like a serum. Look how pretty that is. Wow. So let's apply it directly onto the skin. I'm going to do one side so you guys can see the difference. I can already see this really beautiful glow. I thought it'd be really metallic-y on the skin, but it's not. You can really see the difference from my right side to my left. Like this glow is so pretty. You don't see shimmery particles, which is really important to me because sometimes I don't always want that. It just gives a beautiful sheen to the skin. The marketing imagery for this product is absolutely stunning. All of the models look so good. Their skin is just so glowy and dewy. And I just wanted to look like them because they looked so good. This seems like a really great product for a no makeup makeup look, even if you don't wear any foundation or just like a little bit of concealer, or if you do wear foundation and you do want more coverage. Now I kind of want the other shade, the more bronzy shade. I was a little more hesitant with that because it is winter time and I don't want to look too bronzy right now, but now I'm thinking and how it's looking on my skin, I think I would really enjoy the bronze shade as well. The L'Oreal one feels more like an actual lotion, so it's thicker and it's a little more shimmery versus this really feels like a serum. The next product I have is the Unity Balm Gloss for $20. This is 0.5 fluid. Dance. This one looks really interesting. It kind of gives me the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm as far as like the packaging. See what I mean? It looks so similar and I love that packaging by the way. It says it's an ultra hydrating formula uniting the conditioning benefits of a balm and the shine factor of a gloss. Packed with squalene, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C and E to leave skin hydrated and dewy. It's also fragrance free which is a really nice option because the Summer Fridays one does have vanilla in it. This product seems so interesting. It seems like an all-in-one it can do a lot of things just like a lot of their other products so you can put it on your lips you can use it as a highlighter you can use it for your cuticles i don't know if you guys know this but on the backs that little point that's how you open it like you just puncture it like this <gasps> Oh, it's getting everywhere. Since it got a little bit messy, definitely be careful. Don't puncture it too hard like I did. I'm gonna start off with just the lips, like bare lips. That's really nice. 
glossy, not sticky, no fragrance, really pretty. Not thick, this actually feels very different from the Summer Fridays one, like not even in the same category. It is a little bit in the sense that you can put it on your lips, but this is definitely thinner than the other one. Since I have extra all over my fingers, I am going to put it on my cuticles, which feels really nice. My hands look really glowy. Like, look at my nails. They are shining. This packaging is absolutely stunning. Look how beautiful that is. It feels so nice in the hand, and it just stands out compared to the rest. This is an eye, lip, and cheek multi-stick that also bounces out dark circles and dark spots. Buildable, blendable, weightless, demi-matte color. Easy to use and good for your skin. Packed with hyaluronic acid, squalane, vitamin C, and E. This was actually the first product that they came out with, which is a really great starter because you can use this on so many different areas of your face. A multi-stick is not very common and to know that you can use this as a color corrector is pretty cool. So I'm going to be using Rise as a color corrector. They said to apply some on your fingers and then directly go in. I have a little bit of darkness under my eyes, not too bad. I'm really going to be focusing this on my hyperpigmentation, which that's what's really standing out especially on my cheeks. It's so weird applying a dark color under my eyes because I'm so used to applying concealer. It feels very lightweight and blendable. I probably look crazy, but I will be using a brightening concealer over this. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hyperpigmentation, so around my mouth and on my cheeks. This one in particular has been really annoying. And then I'm just gonna use a sponge just to blend it even more. This is an extra step that I'm not used to, but if this works, then that means you don't have to use as much foundation or concealer. For today's foundation, I'll be using Rare Beauty. My shade is 210 Neutral, which is really surprising because I've never been neutral in any foundation or concealer. If you guys are interested in my Rare Beauty review, I'll leave it right here. Dab, 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 dab. Next time I need to try this around my nose, specifically here, it gets pretty dark because I feel like it would work really well. Because it covered this hyperpigmentation, I had a really big one right here so well. Like look at that. No concealer. This is medium coverage. It is buildable and I can't even see it. That's how good it is. I don't even need concealer. Like look how good my under eyes look because that's where I would usually put it. Going back with Rise, I am going to put it on my cheek. And then I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend it all in. This is such a pretty color. I can even go a little bit heavier. I love orangey shades like this. They are so pretty. And orange is such an underrated color, but it looks so good. I'm just gonna go back in with my sponge and just soften the edges. This is such a beautiful look. We need to try it out as a lip shade. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the center of my lips for more of a stain. And then I'm gonna show you guys like full on application, like a lipstick. This is what it looks like if I'm just patting it in, almost like a little stain. And it's not sticking to the dry patches. That's really important, especially since this is a matte. It just looks really nice. So now I'm going to fully apply it on like a lipstick. So it's gonna be super pigmented. It's very easy to apply on because of the tip. Oh my gosh, I love this terracotta shade. You can also use this as an eyeshadow. I'm going to try that. I'm not the biggest fan of cream eyeshadows since they crease very easily, but for this review, I'm going to do it for you guys just in case you guys do like that. I don't think I'm going to be doing this, but since we're here, let's try it. I'm actually gonna use a blending brush just to blend out the edges. I love this tone on tone look. I don't think I've used anything like this before. Like something that can color correct. You could wear your lips, cheeks, your eyes. Wow, this is a game changer and it's just so different and the packaging is unique and I love their messaging. Definitely check out this brand. This is so pretty. I do wanna show you guys Found so you guys know what that looks like. This again is a brick shade. It does stain your lips a little bit as you guys can see. I'm just gonna do the patting motion first. See how that looks? This is what it looks like if I just pat it on. This is such a pretty brick color. I was expecting it to be deeper, but maybe once I do it like an actual lipstick, it will be. It looks a little messy right now since I did put on that other shade beforehand, but the shade is really pretty. Oh yeah, 
There we go. See how dark that is? Definitely buildable. This color is really pretty too. I feel like I picked two really great colors to try out. I'm going to quickly switch this out and go back to Rise because I just want that tone on tone look. There we go. I have Rise back on my lips. I'm going to quickly set my skin since it does look pretty dewy. And then I'm going to go back in with the Hue Glow and the Balm. Be right back. Now that I'm all powdered, I am missing some of that glow, so I am going to be putting it back in. Going back with the Hue Glow, I'm going to put this on the tops of my cheeks. Let's see how well this looks on top of powder, because sometimes it can make it patchy or just doesn't sit right. It's looking really good. It's not picking up the foundation or the powder. Wow, this is so pretty. Someone with oily skin, I tend to go matte, and I just like to highlight in certain areas. This is perfect. I feel like I have glass skin. This Hue Glow is so pretty. It's really different from other ones that are out in the market, and I didn't think it would be. I thought it would be something very similar, but it really takes its own place in the market. I can't stop staring at my cheeks. They just look so mesmerizing. Eep. I'm so excited. Okay, so now going back to the balm, I'm gonna put it on top of the Hue Stick, so center of the lips. My main concern are my eyes, just because it is a cream product, and because of my eye shape, and because I have oily skin, it is going to crease, like I know that. Since I didn't do a primer, since I didn't put any like eyeshadow powder, it's definitely going to crease. So I'm curious to see like how long is it going to stay on as far as the color. So on my eyes and on my cheeks specifically. So I will see you guys later today with the wear test. And we're back. I really don't like how it gets so dark so early. It's only like 5.30 and I just prefer natural lighting, you know? I don't like using artificial lighting. I think you guys can see everything better in natural lighting. So hopefully this doesn't look too bad. So let's get to the wear test. I did reapply the lips and added more of the balm, just so you guys know. It did fade obviously. There really wasn't too much of a stain, maybe a little bit, especially like on my top lip, but it was basically gone. The eyes look surprisingly not bad. It did crease like I thought it would because it is a cream product. Rise is still on my eyes and it really looks pretty good. I really want to try using a primer under it, but also putting a little bit of translucent powder over it. I think that would help. I don't really think I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow. I'll be mainly using it for my lips, my cheeks, and for some discoloration. It's still on my cheeks, which is really nice. It did come off in the front of my cheeks, but that's because I did wear a mask. That's okay, and it is expected. But besides that, this looks really nice. I really love both shades, Rise and Found. My cheeks still look glowy with the Hue Glow right up here. It stayed on and it doesn't feel tacky. That's like the biggest thing for me is tackiness. It drives me insane because when your hair is down, which my hair is primarily down most of the time, sometimes my hair will stick to it and it drives me insane. So I really like all of these products. There's really nothing bad to say about them. They are so good and I recommend you guys to check out their website and do one of their holiday gift sets. That's what I did for, I believe, these three and then I just got an additional one. Really great deals and it's affordable. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and you guys should definitely check them out. With that being said, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.